So we're gonna go up to the wall, put our hands behind our head, feet touching the wall, knees touching the wall, chest and forehead. And then we're simply going to maintain all those points of contact and then slide down the wall like we're going to sit. And once our chest breaks contact, we stand back up. And reset. Elbows are pulled back. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our forearms and go at a 90 degree angle. Feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. And we're going to direct force into the wall this way. And we're going to slide our hands up until they're straight while continuing to push with horizontal force this way. All right, and we're going to stretch all this. So now for the, uh, the next part of the warm-up, we're going to work on getting some thoracic rotation. So we're going to get into a half kneeling position, all right, 90 degree angle from the knee, hip, shoulder, and ear, and then 90 degree angle with the ankle and knee. We're going to step to the side, okay, and we're going to get into an open half kneeling. Here, we're going to hinge down, place our hand on the floor right in line. So wrist, knee, and ankle are in a plumb line. And then from here, we're simply just going to thread the needle. So we're going to reach through with our arm, and then we're going to rotate from our hips, torso, and arm. We're going to get onto our hands and knees. We want the wrists right under the shoulders, okay? Shoulders are uh, squeezed down to the hips, pushing the hands into the floor. We're going to push our knees as wide as we can, and our toes are untucked. We're going to drop down to our forearms, looking forward with our eyes, and we're going to rock rhythmically back and forth, all right? And this might be a pretty uh, intense stretch for most people. So it takes a while to get into this range of motion, all right? So just stick with it, keep working on it, okay? Kind of move all around, hit those different corners, any tight spots, okay? Making sure you're not holding your breath. So we're gonna rock back and forth for one to two minutes, okay? And then from here, we're gonna extend one leg all the way, making sure that our back and our hips stay level, not letting them drop, and we're going to roll that foot back and forth internally and externally, rotating that hip, opening that hip up. Okay, and bring that knee back. Do the opposite side. Good. And then you should have a little more room now to rock back and forth, okay? Continue to think about the entire time pushing the knees out to the left, the right and left as you're rocking, okay? And then once we do that, we've got, we've hit the mobility portion of the warm-up. We're gonna get a little wider than normal um, and this was something that was mentioned by a friend and mentor of mine, Brent Morehouse. So typically we get lined up with the hips right under the, uh, the knees right under the hips. We're going to go a little wider to make this more challenging, okay? Wrists are going to be right under the shoulders. And when we extend the arm and the leg, all right, we want to make sure that the hip or the shoulder doesn't drop, okay? So 
everything stays nice and level, eyes are going to be looking straight ahead. Okay? I'm going to extend those two limbs, making that axis as long as possible. And then back. Okay, so wrists are right under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. We're going to push our feet into the floor, palms into the floor, eyes are looking forward. And we want our knees about one to two inches off the floor, and we're going to crawl forward. Reciprocal pattern. Knees tracking inside the toe, or in, uh, knees inside the elbow, forwards and backwards, making sure the hips stay level. 